Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Alice Takeover. Yeah, Takeover isn't my last name, but it's just for fun. Today we're gonna explore what the ideal home studio looks like. One that you would host traveling models in. This is a friend of mine's studio. Um, I've stayed here a number of times and I've enjoyed every time that I've stayed here. Today I'll be showing you what to expect as a traveling freelance model when you are hosted by photographers and the bare basics that photographers should be providing for freelance models. Now if you don't already know me and you just found my channel. I'm a traveling freelance model that's bringing awareness to my career. Not many traveling freelance models have YouTube channels. I think mostly because they're just all busy at photo shoots to be honest. But I have a little extra time on my hands these days because I've done really well at my career and now I'm trying to help other people get to the same point with theirs. So when I'm being hosted by a photographer when I'm on my travels, I have a few things that I expect. One of those being hot water <laughs> to be able to wash myself with. Having the option to have cold or hot water to be showering with is very nice luxury. A nice bed is also appreciated, <laughs> which I'll be showing you here on this tour. And security, so having locks on things is also pretty nice when you're a traveling model, either staying at a photographer's home in a guest room or if you're staying at a home studio. You don't want people coming in your room or in your space in period when you're being hosted by a photographer, whether that be the photographer or strangers. So yeah, with that said, let's get on the tour. So here we have the first important thing, which is a lock on the door. This is very important to have for any traveling freelance model to feel secure when she is staying with somebody, especially one that locks with a deadbolt and the bottom lock from here. Uh, and then I also have the keys to be able to enter and exit this room if I want to and lock it up when I'm away. Uh, because this is not in someone's home, this is an actual separate building. So next, and very importantly, we have in this particular studio, it runs um, in a hallway format. So we have a hallway here that goes down that way, which is quite nicely set up. And it also has a uh, bathroom that you walk into. So here is the bathroom that we have to work with here. We have all of our basics, including, you know, toilet, sink, and shower. So in the shower, they also have provided a nice array of shampoos, conditioners, and soaps to use. Um, looks like as well as somebody's mouthwash they probably left behind. <laughs> and they also have provided, this is my makeup bag, but they provided me with a towel. So make sure that you have clean towels and linens for your models when they come to stay. The bathroom should also have a lock on the door. This should not be just willy-nilly open, so when you wanna use the bathroom, you can lock the door. <laughs> Having a mirror is also nice, that way I'm able to see me doing my makeup. Most models opt to have their makeup done while they're in the restroom area, so. This is where I did my makeup today. So moving along, we have the desk area, which is very important for models who want to be able to work uh, on their downtime on anything they might have going on with their computer. So this is a very nice area to be able to park your computer and be able to work on stuff in between your photo shoots. And just off of the way here, we have the kitchenette area. So in this area, we're able to uh, make food uh, on the go, so we have a little sink that also has hot water and cold water attached to it. I left the keys here for the place. Um, it has some paper towels. We have um, a microwave and a little toaster oven. <laughs> and down here we have a mini fridge where we can keep all of our foods when we're uh, needing space for the cold stuff. So we have cold area and this photographer has been so kind to provide glasses as well uh, in case I need to pour myself uh, water or something. Uh, and then, yeah, this is the cute little kitchenette area. Moving along down the hallway here, we have the bedroom on this side. So in this room here, we have the bed. So it's a nice little setup. I would have loved for this bed to have a nightstand. That way I'm able to put away my medications and things like that that I don't want to be bringing around on the road with me that I don't want to keep in my bag. But I understand that this is a very limited space in this particular area. So this is the best that they could do with the biggest bed that they could provide. 
which I'm very happy for. Another thing I also highly recommend is having Wi-Fi access for the model. So internet access and Wi-Fi access, that way they're able to keep up with their other scheduled shoots on their tours and to be able to just keep up with bookings or anything else they have going on in their lives. I've been to many places that don't have Wi-Fi access and it's not every day that models have a traveling hotspot, which if you are a traveling model, I highly recommend looking into your phone plan and trying to get something on there that includes a hotspot service. That way, in case you end up at a photographer's studio that has everything except Wi-Fi, you can still be able to connect and um, keep in touch with those photo shoots coming up. So I feel like that's the bare basics, but here we have also a cute little like living area. So this photographer has a little area where you could just hang out, vibe out, enjoy, um, you know, a nice body mirror, hello. <laughs> And they also have an extension because they use this studio for photo shoots as well. Another photo shoot area for them. And then over here they have their white wall and another really vibey wall and all their lights. And I decided to put my stuff over there <laughs> for the time being, so. Models, even if a photographer has a studio set up, you're always, always gonna wanna ask him if you can have outside photo shoots at his location because not everyone is okay sharing their personal space with just any Joe Schmo. So that concludes our studio tour of things that are ideal to have in a hosting situation. Of course, as always, models should be checking references and portfolios on the host photographers or just any photographer in general. And if you decide to go with hosting as your main option instead of getting your own rental like an Airbnb or a hotel, you're going to want to make sure that you background check the photographers for hosting specifically. So host photographers should have a list of references of models who have stayed with them before and that can vouch for how they are as a host because some people act much more professional uh, on set than they do in their own home. And photographers, usually you can build a good rapport with your model friends that you make along the way and if they just so happen to need a place to crash, you can always offer up your place and that's how you start to build references for being a host photographer. That's all for today. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and feel free to leave me a comment down below so that way I know what other kind of content you guys are looking for. Feel free to ask me any questions about the model photography industry. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.